So here we are, this is the second part of this two part video series with 10 reasons why you are possibly not losing weight. So in the first video we went through five of the reasons and today we're just going to run through the last five. So following on then, the next reason why you're possibly not losing weight is you're always on a diet. What I mean by this is we all probably know one or two people who are always jumping from one thing to another. The next craze that comes out in the media, the next fad diet, they'll be like, wow, this one is the one. To be fair and to be honest, all diets will work to some extent. It's just how more beneficial they are for your health and how much you can stick to in the long run. So they're all gonna work, but the thing, the problem here is if you're always jumping from one to another to another, there's no consistency. And the main thing with anything you're gonna do in terms of weight loss or fat loss is you need consistency. So choose something about what it is and just be consistent with it. Just jump on these scales. Oh. My weight's still the same, my clothes feel looser. So there is a clear example of how to not 100% always rely on what the scales are telling you. There are a lot of ways to measure your progress. So if the scales are still telling you that you're the same weight but you're feeling that your clothes are getting obviously looser, you're feeling that your waist is getting a bit bigger in terms of the clothes you're wearing, then there's always another reason around trying to look at maybe measurements, take circumference measurements, especially around the waist area, at the neck, the arms. Take into consideration as well other factors that are going to affect the weight. So the time of day that you're doing it, when you last ate, how much you ate over that day, when you drank any liquid, bowel movements, etc. If you're a lady, time of the month is going to affect it. Sleep, stress, lots of different things are going to affect your scale weight. So with that in mind, you could still be losing body fat. Okay, it's just these things affecting the weight. Next up, you're not being as accurate as you think you are when you're tracking what your intake is. I mean by this is, when we're getting into the specifics of things, if you're not looking at, say if you have sauces or condiments with every single meal that you're eating, and you're not accounting for that because you think it's just a little bit of sauce, then if you're having a multiple amounts of it, I would probably take that into consideration. This is all gonna add into the calories intake. Same if you're having you know, the extra milk in your tea, sugar in your tea, butter, etc., on toast and things like that. So these little things do add up in the long term. So keep an eye on stuff like that. Next reason, look at your sleep. So what I mean by this is there's been a, a few studies that have been done which correlate uh, an increase in food intake with um, poor quality sleep and also a lack of sleep. So if you're not getting in enough hours and also the, the, the quality that you need, then that could have a, a knock-on effect to the amount of food that you're ingesting. So with that in mind, try and get to bed early, try and get in a decent amount of quality sleep, set your room up ready for sleep, so there's a few little tips on this, make sure there's complete darkness, the right temperature, and have the right bedding, etc. And also limit your exposure to blue light, so your phones before bedtime, computers as well, try and limit that exposure before you go to bed. Finally, we need to set ourselves some realistic expectations. Like weight loss, fat loss, body composition, body changes don't happen overnight. There are long-term seeking benefits that we should be looking for. Set yourself some achievable, realistic goals. Write them down and break down each goal into how you're gonna achieve it. So work backwards from the goal, the end point, break that down into small, manageable chunks, and then as you go through, just work towards the next one, the next one. That way, before you know it, you would have achieved that goal. Trying to think about the long term all the time is such a far, it's so far away, so it's always going to seem like it's going to be impossible. But if you just break it down smaller, then it's a lot easier to manage it. And there we go. Slightly shorter in this video, I think. And that is the final part of these 10 reasons of why you're possibly not losing weight. If you do find you're struggling with anything, then you know you can look over these videos, you can revisit the points and you can say maybe I need to address this within my lifestyle. I hope these videos have helped and they're of use to some people. If they are, I'd really appreciate it if you could like them, thumbs up and all that, and click the subscribe button. That means a lot to me as well. Anyway, until next time, cheers.